Hello everyone. <coughs> Today I'm making uh, the other movie in order to continue our chapter three. Yes, remember from la uh, previous video, we were looking at or we learned uh, demand, demand curve, property or demand curve, law demand. The other one, uh, the other side of the market, supply, supply curve property or supply curve and law of supply moreover we are see we already uh, uh, learn how to draw demand curve supply curve on the graph okay so this is what we have learned uh, from previous video and this video will continue from those points so the new point from those points that we will continue for the video is First, equilibrium. This one, market equilibrium. Market equilibrium. So, before going to understand market equilibrium, first we look at equilibrium, because we already learned, or we already, uh, I, I I suppose that we already understood the market because I post three items or three words last times last uh, video did you remember have you found them the content one marketing ma marketplace and market okay so now it's market equilibrium so what is equilibrium or what does it mean equilibrium equilibrium is a balanced or unchanging situation in which all market forces at work within the market system are concerned by others. So equilibrium means the status that are the market that are balanced or un unchanging. Balanced or unchanging. So when uh, market is balanced or when market is unchanging, so every market force of, of, of the market system are cancelled, must cancel. What does it must cancel? If they want to change, they must cancel their chain by the others. If the other want to change the market, but support that market reach equilibrium, so those one must cancel their force. Okay? So uh, all market forces at work within the system are cancelled by others. So when market reach equilibrium, I mean when market reach stable or balanced, the other forces cannot make a change. If cannot make a change, they must cancel. A system is in equilibrium when there is no tendency for it to change. Yes. So when there is no tendency, when there is no plan for it to change. That's why if there are no change, they must cancel. What they want to change, they must cancel. The concept of equilibrium is employed in both the physical and social sciences. Equilibrium is central importance in economic analysis. In, in one market or in one product market, if we want to find the price at which a good or uh, one product or uh, one good or uh, one service will sell and the quantity of that good or uh, that product or uh, that service will be sold we need to find the equilibrium in the market of that good this means that if you want to find what price that this market selling the good buying the good what how many units of product what is the amount of product that can be sold can be bought by uh, this can be bought by uh, this market so we need to find out market equilibrium for that product in economics a uh, market is said to be in equilibrium when there is no tendency for production products and price or sorry or price prices in the market to change 
It means that in economic when market reach equilibrium, so there are no tendency for producer change their plan and or price cannot be changed in the market. Market equilibrium occurs in the market when all buyers and sellers are satisfied with their respective quantities, quantity demand for buyer, quantity supply for seller or for supplier at the market price. So market equilibrium when the when buyers and sellers are satisfied, are happy with their quantity that they buy or with their quantity that they sell at market price. At market price. So when market reach equilibrium, you will have two item or you will have two conditions to understand. First, equilibrium price. The other one, equilibrium quantity. Equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity are values or price values of quantity for which quantity supplied and quantity demanded are equal. Okay, so the values are price and values of quantity for which quantity demand or quantity supplied must be equal. If we want to find the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity of one product, we need to find the equilibrium equilibrium in the market for that product. Yes. So maybe I I can come up with the previous video and this point. Last video we look at uh, demand and also supply. Now in order to find market equilibrium, we need to find we need to know what price we need to know what price that make quantity demand and quantity supply equal. Okay. So we know last previous uh, last video we know that what is demand demand curve supply supply curve uh, if you know the demand and you know supply and you want to find market equilibrium it means that you want to find the price market price that make that this market price make quantity supplied and quantity demand equal when the quantity supply and quantity demand equal the price that you get we call equilibrium price. The price that you get we call equilibrium price. And quantity demand equal the quantity supply that we get we call equilibrium quantity. Okay. So we want to find price. We want to find price. When we get the equilibrium, we want to find price. Or we want to understand the price. What is the price that make quantity supply and quantity demand equal? Equal. In market in market equilibrium, when you know the price that make quantity supply equal to quantity demand, this this we call equilibrium price. The price in market equilibrium, if you can find the price in, if you can find the market price that make quantity supply equal to quantity demand, this price equal to quantity demand, this price we call equilibrium price. And in market equilibrium, the quantity supply that equal that equal uh, quantity supply this we call equilibrium quantity. Okay, the quantity supply equal to quantity demand, uh, demand in market equilibrium. These two quantities because they are equal. This two quantity we call equilibrium quantity. Okay, so. Previous video, we know supply, we know demand, but we just study about demand for one side and we just study supply for the other side. We not get them together, but now we get them together. In when we get them together, 
we can find market equilibrium. When we get market equilibrium, we know that the price that make quality supply equal to quantity demand, this price is equilibrium price. In market equilibrium, the quantity supply that equal to quantity demand, these two quantities we call equilibrium quantity. Why is the quantity not IS? Because they are equal, so we can say this quantity or this equal uh, quantity. That's why we call only one. Okay. So uh, in label normally I put it PE. Normally I take it QE. That means in market equilibrium, Q supply equal to Q demand and equal to Q QE. So what price that make this Q equally? The price that make this Q equally we call equilibrium price. Okay, we call equilibrium price. So when we know equilibrium price that make this Q, these two Qs are equal. This is we call equilibrium price. And these two Q that are equal we call equilibrium quantity. Okay. Yes. If we want to find equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity for one product, we need to find market equilibrium. Suppose that based on our example previously about pizza, at market equilibrium, so based on this one, we can see at market equilibrium, where is market equilibrium or which point that market equilibrium? Based on the graph, when market reach equilibrium, based on the graph, we can see that demand equal to supply. When market equilibrium, demand equal to supply. So based on the graph, which point that demand equal to the price, uh, sorry, equal to supply, the point that demand equal to supply when the curve of demand intersect with or cross with supply curve. That's why you see we call it equilibrium. Okay, equilibrium. Okay, so this is based on the graph. How about what happens if we have equation? If we have equation of demand and if we have equation of supply, how can we find market equilibrium? Maybe next we will look at this one. But now suppose that we have graph, graph of demand and graph of supply on the same graph. So you can see that demand curve cross with supply curve with one point. The crossing point here, it means that quantity demand equal to quantity supply, price that buyer paid equal to price seller received. Okay, this is market equilibrium. At market equilibrium, the quantity supply QS equals a quantity demand QD. So look at this one, 12,000 12, on supply curve, that means this is quantity supply. 12,000 also on demand curve, this is also quantity demanded. That's why based on the graph, market for pizza based on the graph, 12,000 slide per day is the quantity supply equal to quantity demand and also equal to or to what? Equal to equilibrium quantity. Okay, twelve thousand is quantity supply. Twelve thousand also quantity demand. Twelve thousand also quantity equilibrium. That's why at market equilibrium, quantity supply equal to quantity quantity demand and also equal to quantity equilibrium or equilibrium quantity. Okay, so remember that one. The price, the price is on supply curve and demand curve. Three dollar is on supply curve. Three dollar is so is on demand curve. If three dollar on supply curve, three dollar is the price received by supplier seller. Three dollar on demand curve, 
Streetula is a price paid by buyers or customers. No tendency, no tendency to change equilibrium price or equilibrium quantity. That's why when market reach equilibrium, buyer and seller are satisfied with this quantity and with this price. That means buyers and or seller they don't want to change. If they want to change, they can sell their change. Okay, that's why. This is equilibrium. Buyers are on their demand curve. Yes, buyer on here. Three dollar per unit per slide on demand curve. Buyers are on their supply curve. Three dollar per slide also on supply curve. Twelve thousand slide per day on demand curve. Twelve thousand slide per day also on supply curve. Okay. The other condition. This is market equilibrium. Again, remember that I just uh, uh, reviewing many times. When market reach equilibrium, you can find equilibrium quantity equal to equilibrium uh, demand and also equal to equilibrium uh, quantity in the market. Okay. Oh, sorry, no, this is not equilibrium. Quantity supply. Sorry. Quantity supply equal to quantity demand and also equal to uh, equilibrium quantities. Price that received by seller we call price seller seller price. Price paid by buyer we call buyer price equal to equilibrium price. Okay. So yes, in short, when market reach equilibrium. Sorry. When market reach equilibrium, you can find out quantity supply equal to quantity demand equal to equilibrium quantity. And you can find out price received by seller equal to price paid by buyer. Maybe I don't say buyer, demander and equal to equilibrium price okay so when market equilibrium you can find out you know you must know if you want to find market equilibrium for one product you must know the condition when market for one product reach equilibrium you need to know you must know quantity supply equal to quantity demand and equal to equilibrium quantity Price received by seller, but we call a price seller, equal to price paid by buyer, but in this case, I'm not saying buyer, I, pay, I say demander, equal to equilibrium price. Okay? Excess supply and excess demand. What do you mean excess? Over. Okay, excess not. Excess that mean uh, over enough. Excess is like surplus. In chapter one, we say surplus, right? But now we say excess. Excess supply and excess demand. Excess supply is the the amount by which quantity supply exists. Exists I mean greater than quantity demand when the price of product exceeds the equilibrium price. For example, this is because of plus or excess supply. Previous uh, slide, the graph show us market equilibrium at three dollar and twelve thousand. Okay, three dollar and twelve thousand. Three dollar and twelve thousand is equilibrium. So excess supply. When the when the price higher than equilibrium, when the price higher than equilibrium, the seller are more happy. That's why seller will sell more. So seller increase selling, sell from this point to that point. 
seller increase their product selling. When the price higher than equilibrium, who are not happy? Buyer because more money spent. Buyer buy less from twelve thousand to this amount eight thousand. Okay, buyer buy less because high price buyer buy less. So buyer change from this amount to that amount. As a result, when the price fall greater than equilibrium price. Seller sells sixteen thousand. However, buyer buy only eight thousand. That means what does it mean in this market? This market we still have pizza. Seller still have pizza in their shop, in their store without anyone come to buy because they supply up to sixteen thousand, but buyer just come to buy at eight thousand. As a result, market surplus. This market surplus because of excess, excess supply. Okay, excess supply that mean quantity supply greater than quantity demand. When quantity supply greater than quantity demand, when the price greater than equilibrium price. The other side, excess, excess demand. Excess demand is the amount by which quantity demand exceeds quantity supply when the price of a product lies below the equilibrium price. Oh, sorry. Okay. So in this case, remember that three dollar twelve thousand. Three dollar twelve thousand. Now the market price is not three dollar but two. Cheaper. So when the price cheaper than equilibrium, who are ha more happy? The buyers are happy because they spend they spend less money. That's why buyer increase their buying on on demand side, on demand demand curve. Increase their buying from this side to uh, from this amount to that amount. From eight, uh, from twelve thousand to sixteen thousand, because price cheaper, seller are not happy. That's why seller decrease their production or cut some production. They supply right now only eight thousand. That's why they came here. So, this amount is we call shortage. This amount is we call surplus for the side. This amount we call short take for that side. So, in summarize, excess supply. How many units is excess supply? Excess supply is eight thousand. Okay, amount and which supply greater than demand? Supply sixteen thousand, demand only eighteen. That's why the difference between sixteen thousand and eighteen thousand is eighteen thousand. The other side, excess demand is the amount by uh, amount by which quantity demand is greater than quantity supply. Quantity demand sixteen thousand, quantity supply only eight thousand. That's why eight thousand in this case shortage. Okay. So excess supply because a higher price than equilibrium makes supply greater than demand. Excess demand. Because of price lower than equilibrium or lower than equilibrium or cheaper than equilibrium, make demand uh, quantity demanded greater than quantity supply. As a result, not enough for shortage, but over enough for surplus. Incentive principle based on incentive principle, excess supply. Look at excess supply. Each supplier has incentive to decrease the price in order to sell more. That's why for this one, in order because they, they still have product in their shop, no one come to buy. That's why in order to encourage some buyer or encourage buyer to come to buy, so supplier must satisfy the lower price.
That's why each buyer has incentive to decrease the price in order to attract more buyer. When buyer more buyer come in, they can sell more. Lower prices decrease surplus. As the price decrease, so decrease becomes a plus. What is a plus? Before is a plus here. So when the price is cheaper and cheaper, surplus becomes smaller, 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 smaller. So at equilibrium, surplus is zero. Okay, surplus is low. So when the price decrease, the quantity offer for sale decrease along supply curve. Normally when yes. When there's a when the price drop down, supply will decrease. Okay, supply decrease. Because lower price, we use up, use less, supply less. The quantity demanded increase along with demand curve because the price drop down, buyer will buy more. That's why buyer will buy more before they buy that amount. So divide this amount right now. So as a result, market will reach equilibrium again. Okay? Market will reach equilibrium again. Incentive principle, in this case, excess demand. Each consumer has incentive to increase the price in order to buy more. This one. When the price cheaper, supply supply less, but demand demand more. That's why some demander they cannot buy. Some demander they cannot buy, so they have no goods, no product to consume, no, to use. So in this case, the buyer that cannot buy, they have incentive to increase the price. So when a uh, higher price, decrease shortage. This is shortage. Higher price, shortage become lower, 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 lower. At equilibrium point, shortage become zero. Okay, shortage become zero. As the price increase quantity offer for sale increase as well before they sell that amount because higher price they increase their supply to that amount quantity demanded decrease along supply curve when the price goes up demanders some demanders they decrease their consumption because high price, lower demand. Okay, finally equilibrium again. That's why when market surplus happen or when market shortage happen, automatically market will work by themselves to reach equilibrium. How can they work themselves in terms of market surplus? Seller have incentive to decrease the price. Why sell that decrease the price? Because if they don't decrease the price, their product still in the shop, no one come to buy. That's why in order to sell off, in order to sell those products, they must decrease the price. When they decrease the price, buyer come to buy. Okay, buyer come to buy. However, decrease the price, some supplier reduce their production, reduce their price. Oh, sorry, reduce their uh, supply. In the other case, for excess the demand because some demander cannot buy why cannot buy because lower price than equilibrium supply year supply less but demander demand more some demand they can buy some demander they cannot buy some demand they can buy maybe they are more happy but the demander they cannot buy they are not happy that's why they have incentive to increase the price so when the price increase shortage becomes smaller smaller up to zero at equilibrium when the price increase so supplier will produce more supply more but when supply increase some demander reduce their consumption because high price that's why automatically equilibrium will come so in free market 
when the market reach uh, uh, sorry when market reach equilibrium quantity supply equal to quantity demand price buyer equal to price seller and equal to price equilibrium or equilibrium price however when the market surplus or excess supply or when market shortage excess demand automatically buyers and supplier work together in order to reach equilibrium again so this is a summarize points along demand supply curves for a pizza market price quantity demand in thousand quantity supply in thousand and market price if the price two dollar as a pizza market if the price two dollar demand will one wish to buy more buy more quantity sixteen thousand but supplier wish to sell less only eight thousand a result shortage because demand greater than supply shortage so in order to to have enough for everyone uh, price not go up from two to three from two to three quantity supply go up however quantity demand go down because high price buyer buy less seller sell more so 12,000 demand 12,000 supply equilibrium however if the market price four dollar four dollar high price demand will wish to buy less and supplier wish to buy a uh, wish, wish to sell more sell more buy less uh, uh, a result market is surplus so when market surplus automatically market work together between buyers and seller to reach equilibrium if market shortage market work together between buyers and seller to get equilibrium so finally only equilibrium that happened in the market price controls price ceiling you know ceiling in your room ceiling is uh, a flat uh, above your head okay maybe you have uh, a ceiling is a flat above your head with a light uh, on there that's why price controls who controls the one who controls is government price control occurs in the market when the government controls the prices by setting maximum prices for sellers to charge from customers at a given good at a given good or services not all goods only some goods some services okay price control for example maybe i can raise uh, about uh, electricity and water supply in our countries government said control the price if you consume less you must pay uh, the maximum price is less but if you uh, consume from this level to the other level more and more so uh, maximum price will be more and more price ceilings are below market price price ceiling are below market price when the price ceiling are below market price yes it's a maximum prices but it's lower than market price price ceil uh, price control or price ceilings are price control that maximum price however it, it is maximum price but in the market is still below than market price when it is below than market price so based on previous slide this is shortage shortage but this shortage cannot be uh, disappear. Why? <coughs> Sorry. Why? Because the government control the price. That means. That means, this price cannot go to three. This price cannot increase. Why cannot increase? Because the government say that two dollar is a maximum. Cannot two point one. Cannot two, two point two. Cannot two point three. Cannot two point four. Two dollar is the maximum price. That's why it government said two dollar is maximum price. Seller cannot charge more than two. If seller charge from customer more than two, this seller is break the law, breaking the law, or they are illegal. That's why government take action. So in this case, if the price controlled by setting a price ceiling, so market will reach shortage. Okay, shortage.
and this short take cannot be disappear. I have said this take cannot be disappear because two dollar cannot increase to three dollar if some seller charge more than maximum. These sellers are illegal because they are breaking the law. The government say that they don't obey to or they don't respect to the government saying. That's why they are wrong. Okay, that's why those sellers are not charged more than maximum price of two. That's why price cannot go to three, only two. If the price still only two, seller sell less, buyer buy more. That's why market will reach shortage. If the if if the control price is below equilibrium, then quantity demanded increase, quantity supply decrease. As a result, shortage. Okay, shortage. So we have looking at uh, just a uh, beginning of this movie. We looking at uh, yes equilibrium. Equilibrium price, equilibrium quantity, equilibrium market, and just uh, look at uh, previous points. It says demand, it says supply, now price control. Next. Next point. Predicting and explaining changes in prices and quantity. Predicting. What does it mean predicting? You expect you are expecting and explaining changes in price and quantity so what happened to the markets when the price of this product change when the quantity buying quantity selling of the product change okay distinguish between what does it mean distinguish uh, try to understand the difference between try to understand understanding the difference between between what try to understand the difference between a change in the quantity demanded and a change in demand a change in quantity demanded and a change in demand A change in quantity demanded is a movement along the demand curve that occurs in response to a change in price. Okay, a change in quantity demanded it means that is a movement along demand curve. Maybe I say from point A to point B. Okay, point A to point B. Change along the same demand curve. It's only the same demand curve, but change from A to B, or maybe reversing, change from B to A. Why change from A to B, right from change B to A? It means that the quantity demanded change because of change in price. This is because change in quantity demanded. The quantity demanded change because of change in price. Look at this one. When price two uh, demand eight thousand, when price one demand ten thousand. So when the price cheaper, demand more, or when the price expensive, demand demand less. That's why when the price change, quantity change. This is we call a change in quantity demanded. Change along the same demand curve. A change in demand, a shift of entire demand curve, a movement, a whole demand curve. Look at this one. So I put a green for green graph, I put blue for blue graph. A change in demand is a change of entire demand curve, entire I mean the whole demand curve. From demand one, uh, from demand D to D prime. Okay, you can see in this case, change in quantity demanded because of change in order. 
J in other. How about price? How about J in price? J in price is no. Okay. So a change in demand, quantity demand is change because of the other change. The other condition, the other com uh, com uh, factors, the other determinant change make quantity demand change. For example, the quantity demand change from 8,000 to 10,000. Okay, 8,000 to 10,000. But we look at the price, price still 2. Ah, why price still 2 but quality change? Maybe because of income. I can say income, more money. Okay, so when money goes up, you buy more. Even price not change, price stays the same, you buy more. Or the other, not only income, you get a condition. The condition may be slide 48, you can go there. Okay, so now try to understand the difference between a change in quantity demanded and a change in demand. A change in quantity demanded and a change in demand should change. Should change. But the reason that makes you change different. A change in quantity demanded and change in demand makes you change. Should demand change. Should demand change. But the reason that makes this should demand change from different sources. If talking about a change in demand, quantity demanded, the reason that make quantity change because of price change. But when talking about change in demand, the reason that make quantity change not because of price but because of the other factor change. The other factor you can see slide 48, maybe income, preference, number of buyers, something like this. Okay, so this is I want to mention that you need to understand clearly a change in quantity demanded change on the same demand curve but from movement from one point to next point however change in demand the change of whole supply whole demand curve to the new one quality change price no change change in demand change in quantity demanded quality change be, uh, quality change because of price change Direction of shift in demand, direction of the movement of demand. It could be uh, complement goods, substitute goods. Okay, now look at complement goods. What are complement goods? What are complement services? What are complement products? Complement goods or complement services or complement products refer to two goods, two services or two products that are complements in consumption. Based on the textbook, you can see uh, page 69, example 3.2. Maybe I can give uh, uh, some example about complement goods. Gasoline and motorbike. Gasoline and car but not hybrid car. I mean mean hybrid car also use ca gasoline. Okay. Gasoline and metal by gasoline and car. That's why this is complement goods. You cannot uh, uh, ride your motorbike or you cannot drive your car without filling gasoline. So in order to travel, you use your car or you use your motorbike. If you use your motorbike, you need to buy gasoline. If you want to travel, you want to buy you need to buy motorbike or car and you buy gasoline. That's why gasoline and motorbike, gasoline or gasoline and car they are complement goods. So when we use one, it means that a complement goods are goods that are complement in consumption. If you use motorbike without gasoline, you cannot use motorbike. Okay, this is a complement goods. So there are many, many, for example, a pen and a notebook. Okay, pen and notebook. Or the others. There are many uh, complement goods, but I just give you example that you easy to understand. 
gasoline and you buy motorbike. You buy motorbike, you must buy gasoline. If you buy motorbike without buy gasoline, how can you use your motorbike? Or if you buy gasoline without use motorbike, how can you use your gasoline? Okay. So this is uh, the chain or demand curve, uh, uh, chain or demand curve for complement goods. Original, this is demand, this is supply. Equilibrium price 1.2, equilibrium quantity let's say 50. If and decrease, okay, red for red, blue for blue. Maybe I put red first. Red first. If and decrease in the price of one good causes a rise in demand for the other goods. For example, when the price of gasoline drop down, when the price of gasoline drop down, decrease, that means drop down, less expensive, that means cheaper, people will buy more. Will buy more motorbike. As a result, demand for motorbike go to the right hand side. Okay, the right hand side. When the demand of motorbike go to the right hand side, equilibrium will change from this one. Equilibrium change from old one to new one. By looking at the new equilibrium for motorbike, this is motorbike, not gasoline. The price of motorbike go up, quantity demand and quantity supply go up. Okay, so when the price of gasoline drop down cheaper, people will buy more motorbike. Demand go to the right hand side. As a result, new equilibrium coming. New equilibrium with higher price compared with old one. New equilibrium with higher quantity compared with old one. That's why when the price of gasoline drop down, market for motorbike or motorbike market more activity. Okay, more activity that means more supply and more demand, and also more price. Okay. However, look at blue one. If and Increase if an increase in price of one good causes a fall in demand for the other good. Okay, in demand for the other good. For example, when the price of gasoline become more expensive, consumer will buy less motorbike. Use less motorbike, buy less motorbike. As a result, new equilibrium coming. New equilibrium coming. So compared with old one, motorbike become cheaper and less quantity demand, less quantity supply in the market of motorbike. Okay, in market of motorbike. That's why in summarize, if a if a if a decrease price of gasoline causes a increase demand for motorbike if increase move to the right hand side this is right hand side or right word equilibrium motorbike and equilibrium uh, price of motorbike equilibrium quantity of motorbike go up increase however if a price of gasoline become more expensive so people will buy less cost of demand for gas for motorbike Fall, drop down, drop down, move to left hand side. Make equivalent price for motorbike and equivalent quantity for motorbike drop down. Okay, so this is complement goods. So red, if you use red condition, red for the whole sentence. If you blue, blue for whole sentence. So I use red here and blue there. This is original. Because the co we're talking about demand, that's why you can see demand change, supply no change. Substitute, substitute goods are goods, are two goods or two products or two services 
are substitute in consumption. That means substitute cannot use both of them. If you use both of them at the same time, this is not substitute. This is must be complement. Substitute use one without the other one. Okay. For example, let's say motorbike and car. If you want to travel, if you want to make trip, you can use motorbike or you can use car. You cannot use motorbike and car together at the same time. Okay. Moreover, you can study example 3.2 on page 70. Okay, I can say let's substitute car, motorbike, pen, or pencil. Okay, pen or pencil. So this is original demand, original supply with equilibrium 1.5 and 100 quantity equilibrium. Only right, look at condition. If and increase i use a purple color a series of this condition purple and this is maybe a gold color not yellow if n increase in the price of one gold causes a rise in demand for the other goods <coughs> for example when the price of let's say car go up up the more expensive maybe car it's it's not good example for this one maybe okay let's say pizza and burger not a whole pizza just a slice of pizza a slice of pizza with one burger because when talking about whole pizza it be more expensive because whole pizza a small size or a larger size or medium size is maybe a 10 over 10 dollar burger is only three dollar but we're talking about one slice of pizza is about two or three dollar the same similar price to burger oh okay we're talking about substitute maybe burger or pizza pizza not a whole pizza but a, a slice of pizza okay <coughs> if a uh, if an increase in price of pizza a slice slice by slice not a whole pizza if an increase uh, price of pizza cause the uh, demand cause cause a rise in demand for burger. So when the price of pizza go up, people will consume less pizza. However, people will consume more burger. When consume more burger, demand the burger move to the right hand side. Move to the right hand side. Our result: new equilibrium coming. So new equilibrium, higher price, higher quantity demand, higher quantity supply for burger. That's why make a lead to equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity for uh, burger go up. <coughs> However, when the uh, pizza, the, the price of pizza per slide go down, degrees cheaper, cost the demand for burger drop down. Okay. Drop down. When the price of pizza cheaper, so demand for burger drop down. As a result, supply uh, sorry, demand for burger move to the left hand side. New equilibrium coming, new equilibrium or oh, oh, lower price and lower quantity demand, quantity supply of burger. Okay, so I'm just saying uh, burger pizza because it's easy for you to understand. But you can use the other two goods, not only burger pizza, maybe you can use pen and pencil, pen or pencil, also substitute goods, or maybe you can use the others. Okay, so this is a move, a shift in demand or change in demand. Shifts in demand or change in demand same meaning this one change in demand shift in demand change in demand the same meaning okay demand curves are shifted not just by a change in the price of substitutes or the price of complements but also by the change being by the other factors that change amount people are willing to to pay for a given good services. One the one of the most important factors that change uh, make demand change 
five year income. Okay, five year income. So demand a whole demand chain, not because of price or substitute good, or not a price or complement goods, but the whole demand curve chain because of the other factors. The most obvious, the most obvious uh, important is uh, income, buyer income. When income increase, demand curves for normal goods will move to the right. Don't say, okay, I just uh, remind you, don't say move to up, move to down, don't say up and down. Because when you say move up or move down, move up and move down have different meaning between demand and supply. That's why in order to understand only the same direction, don't say move up or move down for demand supply. Instead of saying moving up or moving down of demand supply, if you want to say increasing, it doesn't matter supply or demand increasing or move to the right. Move to the right, right hand side, it means demand curve, supply curve, make more quantity, increasing. However, if you say uh, supply decrease, the demand decrease, don't say move up, move down, but say move to the left hand side. Move to the left hand side, demand also demand decrease, supply also decrease. Okay, don't say move up, move down. That's why I say we'll move to the right, right hand side. So when income increase, demand for one product move to the right hand side. This product we call normal goods. If when if when income increase but demand for one product move to the left hand side, this product is inferior goods. So what is normal good? Normal good is good whose demand shift to the right but when the buyer's income increasing. Buyer's income increasing. Okay, buyer income increasing, not uh, uh, okay. This is uh, forget to say increasing. Increasing. On left hand side when the buyer's income decrease. This is normal good. It it's simply like this one. You have more money you have you buy more uh, product if you have more money you buy more pizza pizza is normal good but if you have more money you buy less pizza pizza is inferior good okay so have more money buy more good this good is normal good if you have more money you buy less this less good this good is inferior good so this is a uh, uh, the short meaning normal good the good you buy more when you have more money the good you buy less when you have less money this is normal good inferior good refer to good that you buy more when you have less money or where you buy less when you have more money that's why inferior good the, the same direction okay maybe I, got, I can say income and quantity Okay, income and quantity. If you have more income, you buy more, this is normal good. Or if you have less income, you buy less, this is normal good. Okay, you can see direction, income and quantity demand go the same direction, go the same direction. This is normal good. Normal good, the good that you buy more when you have more income. Or the good you buy less when you have less income. This is normal good. However, again, this is income. This is quantity. If you have more income and you buy less, this is inferior good. Or if you have less income, you buy more. This is inferior good. You can see more income buy less. Less income buy more. That's why you can see direction between money and demand go opposite direction. That's why we call inferior good. Okay.
I always say that factor that make demand curve change. That means this is change in demand. Factor that make a change in demand, not change in quantity demand. Remember that one. Those factor are factor that cause that make an increased demand move to the right hand side. That make demand curve move to the right hand side. A decrease in price of complement goods. A decrease the price of complement goods. And increase the price of substitute goods. Okay, maybe yeah, this is I'm talking about again already when we see the graph about supplement complement good. I'm talking about that, that gasoline and motorbike and this is talking about uh, pizza and burger and increase in income normal goods if you have more money you buy more move to the right hand side increase test of preference by demand for the good test of reference what the menu you like what uh, the way that you like before you don't you don't like this product but now you tend to you feel that you like it more that's why you buy more price stay the same but you buy more that's why your demand move to the right increase the number of potential buyer population of uh, potential buyer before less buyer they buy less but now many many buyer coming they buy more when they buy more demand move to the right hand side Expectation of high price in the future. Suppose that buyer in this city, in the country, uh, next month, uh, its price of the product will go up. That's why next month, if they think, they expect that the price of this product go up, today they buy more. When they buy more, demand move to the right. When these factors, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, when these factor, especially the one to underline here, when this factor move the opposite direction, the, the, the original one decrease but opposite increase this one increase opposite decrease this one increase original decrease okay so this uh, underline when we move to the uh, opposite direction demand curve will decrease or demand curve move to the left demand decrease or demand curve move to the left okay if the question asking you what factors that make a change in demand change move to, change to the right hand side or change to the left hand side can you explain okay so you need to answer based on this slide okay this is a uh, exercise exercise 3.4 how will a decline in airline or uh, aircrafts affect intercity bus fare and the price of hotel room in resort communities okay for example airline uh, the uh, will uh, decline in airfare airfare that mean a ticket air ticket price uh, air ticket price drop down decline drop down affect to intercity bus intercity bus that mean intercity bus is the bus that used from city to city Okay, intercity maybe from Phnom Penh to Siem Reap, Phnom Penh to Seno, Seno Wheel, also uh, Seno Province. Okay, because we have also Phnom Penh to Seno, Phnom Penh to Siem Reap, we also have bus, taxi, but we don't say taxi, we have bus and airline. And we also have hotel in Siem uh, Reap or in Seno. Exercise 3.5. How will a large pay increase of federal, federal uh, employees affect to rents for apartment located away from Washington? Maybe this is not uh, good for you. Maybe we can skip it. This is for uh, United States. Washington Metro Stations. 